Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you really quick, or maybe not so really quick. This is about eight minutes long video of me doing, I want to say a speed painting, but it's really a speed pastel drawing. Now I will say, please be kind in your comments because this is only the second time I have ever used chalk pastel in my adult life. As a child, I played a lot with chalk and pastels. So, uh, however, it's the matter of relearning how to do things so anyways I'm using a lot of Naples yellow and I wanted to do a seahorse because if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or any of that stuff I was in a chalk art contest and I did a cool little underwater like seahorse thing it was a big big D, big big piece for me my largest piece I've ever done it was a big like four by four like chunk of sidewalk it was awesome so here I am I'm just defining the shape and what I do when I do pastel now and I I think this is what a lot of them do and everyone's different but I go in and I layer a lot of colors uh, and this is only the second time I've done it at this point or at, with this video I've done a couple since then but I'm going in and I'm kind of just defining colors where I think they should be and where I want them to show up and just kind of putting all that like kind of background base information in and I'm going right now and I'm defining some around the eye and the nose a little bit I'm adding a little that's Payne's gray that's not actually black don't don't scream don't scream so I'm adding in some where I think shadows and things will be and what I think should be there and then what I'm doing is I absolutely have to tell you I'm gonna I'm gonna gush over this I thought to myself I was like really don't like the idea of using my fluffy little fingers because I have little baby hands that are a little like little fluffy kids hands I don't know like I have fat pudgy little hands and so while I can get into tiny crevices I was like being precise is very hard with my fingers so I thought to myself hmm I wonder if q-tips will work and sure enough they did now I will say you do lose a lot of the definition with it but that was not the goal at this point I was just trying to really lay down a lot of base colors and get that stuff defined so I'm defining the eye right now and I am using the q-tip to help with that just giving it some shadows some shape some shade um, I'm using everything from a yellow ochre to white to black and I believe I use a little Naples yellow in there at some point and I'll pull the white back in I always pull the white back in and I will say that these Munio uh, gallery pastels from Jerry's they layer really well because if you watch this you know I layered a lot and I mean a lot so I'm going in and I'm kind of redefining some of the shapes right now that I felt like I kinda lost when I blended because maybe I blended a little too much but probably not and like I said I really love these pastels they just layer so extremely well and so the colors I used on the seahorse are so many but the base ones I used are Naples yellow dark chrome chromium orange I believe is what it's called cadmium orange yellow ochre basically all the ochres you can come up with uh, dark Naples yellow light Naples yellow and Naples yellow so all those and then I also used Payne's gray, Van Dyke brown. I mean, I use quite a quite a few colors. And then you'll notice I'm tapping off the dust because I will say this is a very dusty process using the chalk pastels. So I enjoy the heck out of it, but very very dusty dusty. So So now I feel like I've lost some of that definition after blending again. So I'm just going in with this dark chrome yellow or dark chrome orange and redefining the shapes. And also I'm playing with my camera because I still haven't quite figured that whole thing out yet. And I'm sure I'll be playing with it for the next many, many videos. <laughs> so now I'm just defining the background. And like I said, this is only my second time in this video of me actually doing chalk pastels. So for me, this was a learning experience and... I definitely realized I probably should have done the background first I'm not gonna lie so I'm going in and I'm adding in the shapes the rocks the things like that now what I decided to do was take some techniques I got and tips I got from the mind of watercolor Lindsay the frugal crafter and Marty from Owings art and that's to from my main subject to use some of those colors in the background as well and so that's what I decided to do I might have gone a little overboard with me you just never know <laughs> um, 
and used far too many of them, but I actually really, really loved how this turned out. It just starts off looking like a hot mess, but at the end, it does come together, and I think that's one thing I really love about pastels is that you can start off so incredibly loose and then tighten up at the end, and you just get a really awesome picture. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It's a freedom thing for me. It's a, I don't have to make it anything in particular. See, now I'm going through and I'm blending. What? It's really starting to look like rocks. I know. Don't be shocked. I was too. So, <laughs> I was really excited that these were turning out. Kind of like I hoped. So, that just means that I actually had a decent eye for where I should put things. <laughs> so, it worked out really well. And I, like I said, I was really happy. And I will say that I decided after doing this that I really felt like I kind of needed some bubbles. My seahorse needs bubbles. I don't know about you, but my seahorse needs bubbles because he was breathing underwater and in my mind, I just he needed bubbles. And I will say, I, I wish I had done the light source as the first thing and then done the background and then the seahorse and then the bubbles. And uh, you'll see why. <laughs> But so I had to redefine my bubbles, and that was okay. Like I said, this whole thing is a learning process. I'm taking you along with me. So I'm using black, and I'm trying to define my shadows. Now, I will say this was a heck of a learning process for me personally because, you know, I've not done bubbles in chalk pastel ever. So, but it is a similar technique to what you use when you do colored pencils. It is a similar technique to what you use when you do acrylic paint. The thing is, is that... The chalk pastels, because if I, I do have pastel pencils now, I just got them. But, you know, it's one thing when you have pastel pencils because they have a fine point. You can make them fine point. But these big, chunky block ones, it was really hard to kind of get the de definition I was looking for for some things. But I think I did pretty good with it, to be honest. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. And overall, I'm really pleased with how this, this painting turned out. And yeah, so for my second attempt at it, I thought it was not half bad, to be honest, and I had a lot of fun. So if you have any tips or tricks for dealing with pastel and things like that, let me know in the comments section below. Right now, I'm just adding in some seaweed, some background. I just felt like the background needed more, so I added in some coral, and again, I did that thing where I pulled other colors from the seahorse and the surrounding area into the seaweed and the um, coral and stuff. And I just, I enjoyed this, doing this so much. It was just so freeing. I did it in under an hour and it was great. So I hope you enjoy watching me <laughs> go through the learning process. I always enjoy it when I watch other people as well. So do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any tips or tricks for pastel, I've been watching some, I believe it's Colin, Colin Bradley and a couple other folks. And if you have any tips or tricks with pastel, please do me a huge favor and let me know in the comments section below. And like I said, this was just a blast and had so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.